Hey, my name is Tony, and we have uh, my 2002 MR2 Spider here we are working on. There's the uh, Tundra in the background, like our to Toyotas. Um, I am kind of new to the uh, MR2s, but not so much uh, to the mid-engine vehicles. I've had quite a few of those. And for the veteran MR2 owners, I bet you've already guessed what I'm about to do. We're going to service the pre-cats on this, hopefully make it short and sweet. Um, this car has 99,000 miles on it, uh, so if you uh, go onto some of the forums, if you have one of these, I just take somebody else's word for it that's smarter than me, uh, check out some of the forums and uh, see what they're saying about the pre-cats on these. So we're just going to service that shortly here and Hopefully switch to this endoscope camera and see if you guys can see what I'm going to see. So on this uh, heat shield here, I used a 12 mil on these top two bolts and don't forget back here, there are two more. So I'm going to pull those out. So hopefully the endoscope camera was able to pick up that. I have not checked the footage yet. Stock 1ZZ. So there are five manifold bolts right here, exhaust manifold bolts, there's five, we're letting them uh, soak for a good couple hours. And down underneath this, uh, the manifold and the pre-cats, there are three nuts that have to come off, and then this will come out. And there might be a mounting bracket or a brace down there it looks like, but that's what you'll have to do, soak those so you don't break them off. So while these stop bolts are soaking, we are underneath the car right now, um, removing that this plastic cover here. We are underneath the MR2, and you can see these three bolts, or three nuts, have been soaking. One, two, and the inner third one's right over around here, and then this brace, this bracket here will have to come off. That's the, uh, helps it from vibrating. That's why they put these two brackets right there on to help it from vibrating that uh, porcelain loose on the inside of these. But really, once you pop these off, we are, we're good. And then take off the manifold five bolts. Just a quick update. Under the pre-cats, we are uh, using a 14 mil uh, socket. With a so we just finished removing those three lower nuts. So we're using that same 12 mil socket uh, on the headers here that we used on the uh, heat shield. That There's a 12 millimeter uh, on the driver's side in America and 14 uh, on the passenger side, unless it was touched previously by somebody else and they, you know, used the wrong bolt or bolts. But so far I found the 12 and 14 down there for that uh, support, lower support bracket. We'll wiggle it out a little bit. It's like our gasket's still in good, pretty good shape. All right, 
right now we've got the uh, HP Envy hooked up to the endoscope camera and there's the MR2 and we have the MR2 pre-catalytic converters uh, here on the dining room table. We're going to find out what we're doing here and why we're doing it. So we'll give the phone or the camera to the mechanic here and he'll show you on the computer what's going on here, I think, hopefully. So there is your hole for your oxygen sensor. So we have a lighted endoscope camera. There's uh, the driver's side bank in America. You can clearly see the pitting and the chips broken off for whatever reason you want to put behind the reasoning for it. We're still going to fix the issue. But on the header side, the engine side, of course, you can you can clearly see there's pitting. There are chips that have obviously broken off and went either way, either away from the engine or towards the pistons. Or Two sensor port. Driver side in uh, in America. Now we are getting everything buttoned up, pretty much starting from the engine mounting bolts. There's two of those, and moving over to the three uh, bolts underneath the pre-catalytic converters. Everything put back together. 